but when you point the gun at someone else, that's gonna make them feel like they're about to die, right? That's what you wanted him to feel. No. Your morning news now. Kyle Rittenhouse took the stand in his trial Wednesday, 14 months after shooting three people, two of them fatally, during protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The judge berated the prosecution for questioning Rittenhouse's silence up until this point and is now considering a request by the defense for a mistrial with prejudice. That would allow Rittenhouse to walk free without being charged again. The judge told the jury to expect closing arguments early next week. Ten House Democrats led by the co-chairs of the Democratic Women's Caucus say they will introduce a House resolution condemning Representative Paul Gosser. This comes after Gosser tweeted a video that included altered animation showing him striking Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez with a sword. In a statement, the 10 Democrats said Gosser's post, quote, goes beyond the pale and called it a clear cut case for censure, unquote. Gosser issued a statement saying he wasn't trying to depict harm or violence. The Democrats say they will introduce the censure resolution tomorrow. Four astronauts, including three from NASA, are on their way to the International Space Station. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center. This crew will be at the station until April 2022 when they get replaced by a new NASA crew. During their mission, Crew 3 will play a host to a number of space tourists. With last night's launch, the total number of people who have reached space is now past 600. Looking at some heavy rain that continues to move into our area this morning from the south. Expect that rain to continue throughout the morning. Current temperatures are in the 40s to low 50s. Want to let you know about some breaking overnight news. La Crosse Central High School is canceling classes today due to a threat directed towards the school. In a statement from Principal Jeff Axness, he says, quote, District Administration and the La Crosse Police Department are currently investigating the validity of the threat, end quote. That statement also says, due to the timing of the event, they needed to cancel class today, so the La Crosse Police Department had enough time to thoroughly investigate the issue. Students and staff should not report to Central High School today, and once the school has more information, they will share it with school families and staff. We will be following this story right here on News 8 Now. Wisconsin will spend $100 million in infrastructure bill money to expand broadband internet. The legislation provides $65 billion to expand broadband coverage nationwide. The Wisconsin Public Service Commission also received $100 million in broadband funding under the American Rescue Plan Act. Viterbo University is adding eSports to its competitive collegiate programs. The Viterbo V-Hawks will compete in an 1,800 square foot eSports arena in at least four different games starting next year. A search for a coach is underway and scholarships will be available. Viterbo joins Western Technical College as the second eSports team in lacrosse. This Thanksgiving marks the 40th annual lacrosse community dinner. Organizers are recruiting volunteers to help. Last year, a record number of meals were distributed during the pickup and delivery only event. This year's event will include dine-in services. More details are available on the Thanksgiving dinner's website. A local shoe store is filling a big need for families. Trade Home Shoes donated 600 pairs of socks to the Family and Children's Center. For every bundle of socks that customers bought, Trade Home donated an additional bundle. The socks will go to families who are homeless or economically challenged. The donation comes just in time for the colder seasons. Watch out for some uh, wet roadway conditions here this morning. It should begin to mostly end by this afternoon. A few showers are still possible here for the evening. And we could be looking at some snow and rain into tomorrow. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us. Another uh, special thank you to our veterans out there and a happy Veterans Day. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. Stick around now for CBS News.